Chris, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Want to teach you uh, this cool tune, <clears throat> very blues influenced, so that's always good. You can click the link to the right, check out my blues domination package if you so care to do that. Hey, so let's learn this tune, all right? So I'm going to take my first finger, I'm going to bar the sixth fret of the B in the high E string, like this. <laughs> And you're just going to play those two, very classic kind of Chuck Berry style lick. And what we do is we're going to slide up from the fifth fret on the first pick, like this. And then it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do it again. So it's... Check it out, here it is full speed. So, you see how many times I did that? I repeated it, I did three repeats, or I did it three times, so. And then I'm just going like this, I'm gonna use my ring finger, and I go, and it's going to be up to the ninth fret with my ring finger covering the B and the high E string. Then once I did that, I slide my ring finger up a whole step and I just do that same little double stop on the eleventh fret and I give it a little nudge like... Then it goes into the form of the song. So let me show that intro to you a little bit slower one more time. So I'm gonna take um, the B flat power chord, which is on the sixth fret, index finger on the E string, and then ring finger on the eighth fret, of the A string, like that. And, um, and then you're gonna wanna be bouncing your pinky off and on the 10th fret of the A string like this. And I'm hammering it on, so it could be a little tricky for some people who aren't used to that yet, but that's like the whole bag of Chuck Berry, you know. You know, that kind of thing. So it's, but this has a little more of a of a swing and a hammer on with the pinky. Like that, check it out. So that's called B flat right there. Now we need the four chord, which is E flat, and it's just right next door, right next door, same vibe. So basically, and I'm still really ill, you guys, so bear with me here. Um, but basically, to follow with the words, you go. Say you want a revolution. Well, you. When it goes to no, you go to the E flat. No. We don't like you. Then when it goes to, I believe, the word world, back to the first chord again. World. Stays there. Now it starts over. This time, instead of going back, it goes up a whole step to what we call F, F power chord. Just like that. So check it out one more time. It's all the same move. Just know it's the three chords of the blues, basically. So we got. Back to the original. Now it's going to start over. Here it goes. Whole step. 
just like that. Here we go to the next part. This is a little breakdown. Turn around, and it's got a lot of turn. You know, you could call it a bunch of things. How about the cool part? All right, so we're gonna go uh, third fret barred. Uh oh. Now you could play a power chord if you need to, but we're gonna bar the third fret, and I'm gonna play uh, a minor, an E minor looking shape. So it's barred, ring finger on the fifth fret of the A, pinky on the fifth fret of the D, barred, and we go. It's just one hit, and a, hit it and quit it, as I said before. So we go. And we go down to F, which is going to be on the first fret of the E string, and we play a bar chord with my middle finger down, so it's an F major bar chord, like that. Middle finger's on the second fret of the G string, so we have. So it doesn't go to F that time, it goes like this. You can do power chords. And it's going to be, uh, I'm going to play a full bar chord that looks like an A major shape. So it's a C major chord, and it's uh, barred on the third fret. And then my ring finger covers the fifth fret of the D, G, and B, right across there. And I hit that once, and then I slide it up a whole step. So it's C, D, just like that. Then a G major bar chord which is exactly like what I did on F, but on the third fret now. So it goes. Three, four. So it's all, um, so here's that whole section. We got the G minor, G minor to F, G minor, C, D, G, 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 F. Okay, now, but you know it's gonna be. And that's gonna be, um, yeah, that's gonna be back and forth from the one chord to the four chord, or the B flat power chord with the pinky to the E flat power chord with the pinky. So it just goes, but you know it's gonna be. So basically what we have is just going back and forth between the B flat, uh, but you know it's going to be all right. So what you're going to do is after you do that and you recognize the section, it goes to the, you can go to an F power chord, which is the first fret. And you hit it one time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this kind of thing. Um, basically, we're gonna bar the A string and the D string with our first finger. And I'm gonna hammer on, on the A string, hammer on the third fret. Like that. So I let go of the F power chord after I hit it. Because the bass is going to be going. You know, it's going to be hitting that. It's going to emphasize that. But you go. Then you hit, since my first finger's barred, you just hit that D string. So it's. Then you do it again, the hammer on. And then ring finger comes over and hits the third fret of the D string. So it's. is you can just play an F power chord if you can't do that. I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, you just do it like that, but basically it goes. Yeah. 